Hi guys and welcome to Fire TV Sticks. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use ES File Explorer to connect your PC, laptop or Mac to your Amazon Fire Stick. I'm going to be doing this using a 4K stick but this will also work with any generation of Fire Stick, the Fire TV and the Fire Cube. This is an easy and effective way to copy files to and from your PC, laptop or Mac directly to your Fire Stick. So why would you want to do this? Well, with this method, you can copy your photos and videos to your Fire Stick. You can also copy APK files that you have downloaded onto your PC, laptop or Mac, and then manually install them onto your Fire Stick. So when you're ready, make sure your Fire Stick is plugged in and your laptop, PC or Mac is ready and let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is change a setting on your Fire Stick so that we can allow it to communicate with external sources, which in this case is going to be your PC, laptop or Mac. So from your home screen of your Amazon Fire Stick, access the settings menu. Once we're in settings, click down and go across and select My Fire TV. Once we're here, highlight developer options and click to select it. Now in here you can see that we've got two options. They currently say off on mine. We need to switch those so they both say on. So I'm going to click on ADB debugging and you can see that that now switches to on. Then I'm going to click on apps from unknown sources. It's going to bring up a box that just confirms that I want to turn this on. I'm going to click turn on. And now you can see that both of these developer options are turned on. Now we need to download an application called ES File Explorer and we can find this directly from the Amazon store. So I'm going to press the home button and then I'm going to highlight over the search icon. With the on-screen keyboard I'm going to start typing ES and as you can see it, ES File Explorer has already come up as a suggestion in the list below. So I'm going to tap to it, highlight and click to select. Then on this next page ES File Explorer is the white icon with the blue folder. I'm going to click to select it. Then on the next page, I'm going to tap on the orange button to download it. Yours might say get, but either way, just click on the orange button and this will install ES File Explorer onto your Fire Stick. Once it's finished installing, again, click on the orange button to open it up. With it open, we're going to click agree. So tap down, highlight agree and click to select. This just allows ES File Explorer access to your storage. If you're using the 4K stick like I am and you get this message appear at the bottom of your screen, click allow. Here we just need to agree and continue to the terms and services. So I'm going to highlight agree and click to select. Once we get to this screen, it's asking you if you want to have a free trial of ES File Explorer Premium, but we don't need the premium version to be able to do what we need to do today. So I'm going to press the back button. And this now takes us into the home screen of ES File Explorer. But for this tutorial, we only need to adjust one setting in ES File Explorer to be able to link and communicate your Fire Stick to your PC, laptop or Mac. So from this section of the screen here, we want to find an icon that says view on PC. So I'm just going to use my Fire Stick remote control to tap down and keep tapping down until I find it. It's right here on the bottom. It says view on PC and I'm going to click to select it. Now you can see that it's asking me to turn this on. Turning this on will give us the ability to connect our laptop, PC or Mac to the Fire Stick. So I'm going to tap down using my remote until I'm highlighted over turn on. When I'm highlighted over it, it will turn a slightly darker shade of blue. So I'm gonna to click to select. So this is gonna give me my IP address right here in this part of my screen. Although the address appears as one long address on screen, we need to write it down in two parts. Make sure that the address that you are writing down is the address that is showing on your ES File Explorer and not mine. First, we want to write down the number that is displayed in between FTP double dot forward slash forward slash and the double dot. I'm highlighting the area you need to look at so you can see which section I'm referring to more clearly. 
Just again remember to write down the numbers that are on your screen and not mine. This is what we are going to call the host address. Now make a note of the number after the double dot. This is your port number. Again, I am highlighting the area on screen that you need to write down the numbers from. Make sure that you write down these numbers correctly, otherwise this will not work and you will get an error when you're trying to connect. So now we can check and check again before we move to your laptop, PC or Mac that you've written down these numbers correctly. OK, with that done, we now need to download and install an FTP client onto our PC, laptop or Mac. If you've never done this before, it may sound complicated, but hopefully this will be easy to understand and follow and you can stick with me whilst I show you how you can get an FTP client that is free and simple and easy to use. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and we can use a piece of software that establishes a connection between a host computer and a remote server. So in this case, we are creating a connection between your PC, laptop or Mac, which is your host computer, and your Fire Stick, which is the remote server. Open your favourite web browser and type in the following address. FileZilla hyphen project dot org forward slash. This address is also showing on your screen. If you like, you can pause this video to give yourself some time to type it in. Once there, find quick download links. Underneath, you can see that there are two options to choose from. We are going to select download FileZilla client. On the next page, you should see a green download button that is for Windows 64-bit operating systems. If you are not running the 64-bit operating system, you will need to look at the More Download Options section just below this. There are two more options, one for the 32-bit operating system and one for the Mac. If you are a Mac user, then click and download the file for Mac. And if you know what operating system your laptop or computer is running, then click on the appropriate option to download the file and then skip to this part of the video. If you are unsure which is the correct one for you, then keep watching. Most newer laptops and PCs run on a 64-bit operating system, but if yours is slightly older, you may be running on a 32-bit system. Don't worry though, it's really easy to find out if you don't know which operating system you have installed. Let's minimise the web browser and go to the desktop on your PC or laptop. Right click on the icon labelled This PC. If you cannot find this option, yours may be labelled Computer. Now select Properties. When the system window opens, look for System Type and this will show you if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. Now you can go back to FileZilla and download the correct version. If you have the 64-bit operating system, click on the green download button. If you have the 32-bit operating system, look a little further down the page at More Download Options and click the Windows icon with the number 32 on it. When the box pops up asking you to select your edition of FileZilla Client, click on the Download button underneath the FileZilla column. Now run the installer. If you get a pop-up asking you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, then click Yes. Next, select I agree. Then on the next screen, select who you would like to be able to use this software. I am happy to select the option to allow for anyone who uses this computer. But if you share your device with others, you don't want to be able to use it, your kids for example, then click the option only for me. On the next screen, leave all of the options selected and click on next. On the next screen, you can choose an install location. 
I am happy for FileZilla to install to its default location, but you can change that here if you like. Click Next and click Next again. On the Install Additional Software screen, you can choose if you want to install McAfee Web Advisor. I'm going to click on Decline for this option, but if you like, you can click on Accept if you want to install it. FileZilla will now install. We can leave the check mark on Start FileZilla Now and open it up by clicking on Finish. Click OK to dismiss the Welcome to FileZilla message and then click on the square button in the top right hand corner to maximise the screen. Just a word of warning when using FileZilla, there is no undo button. FileZilla allows a drag and drop move functionality which could inadvertently see you accidentally moving a folder into another folder and unless you are 100% certain of your actions, you cannot undo this move. So I strongly advise you to be careful and take your time. So with FileZilla now open, it may look a little daunting. There are basically four areas of interest. The left area of your screen is known as the local site and shows you all of the folders on your PC, laptop or Mac. The area on the right hand side is known as the remote site and you will see that it is currently blank. When we connect your Fire Stick in a minute, this is the area where you will be able to see all of the files and folders on your Fire Stick. Below that is the transfer area. Whenever we transfer a file or folder between devices, it will show down here. The top area of your screen is the Site Manager, and this is where we are going to set up the connection between our PC, laptop or Mac and the Fire Stick. So let's do that now. You can either click on File from the top menu and then select Site Manager, or you can just click on the Open Site Manager button just below that I am highlighting on the screen now. Click on the New Site button and in the box that is highlighted blue, type Fire Stick and either click out of this box or press Enter. Now we are going to enter the address of our Fire Stick that we wrote down earlier. Make sure that Fire Stick that we created earlier is highlighted on the left hand side on the right hand side of the screen where it says host type in the host address exactly as you wrote it down earlier this is the first number that we wrote down next where it says port type in the second number we made a note of earlier next where it says log on type click to open the drop down menu and then click on anonymous now click on connect the box that pops up on screen is telling us that we are creating an insecure FTP connection. This is okay though as we will only be accessing it within your home and no usernames or password details are used or shared. So tick the always allow insecure plain FTP for this server box at the bottom and then click OK. Now, if you have entered all of these details correctly, you should be connected to your Fire Stick and you can now see a list of all of your Fire Stick's folders displaying in the remote site area of FileZilla. If you haven't been able to connect and have received an error, first check that you have written down all of the information correctly from earlier. Also check that your Fire Stick hasn't popped up with a connection request box. If it did, just tick Always Allow from this computer and select OK and then try to connect again. If you are still having issues, just drop us a comment underneath this video with your problem and we will try to help. OK, now we are connected, you now have access to all the folders on your Fire Stick and you can move folders and files to and from it. Just to demonstrate, I want to copy some of my family photos and videos onto my Fire Stick as I want to watch them on the big screen. So on the right hand side in the remote site area that shows the files on my Fire Stick, I want to create a folder for my family photos and videos to go into. 
right click in any of the white space area and then select create directory. Name the folder whatever you want by typing it in. For this example, I'm going to call it family. Then select OK. You will now see that folder in the list. I'm going to double click on it to go into that folder. Now on the left hand side in the local site area, I am going to find the folder on my PC, laptop or Mac that has the family photos and videos in that I want to move onto my Fire Stick and double click to open it. Once I have found the folder, I can then use my mouse to click and select a photo. Then I can drag it to the right hand side into the folder on my Fire Stick that I just created called Family. You will now see within the bottom transfer area, this photo is now transferring to my Fire Stick. Once this has finished, the photo has now been transferred. Don't worry though, your photo is still on your PC, laptop or Mac. We just made a copy of it onto your Fire Stick. So now when I go back to my Fire Stick on ES File Explorer, I'm just going to press back on my remote control to return to the home menu. On the right hand side, in this area here, I can now select images. In here, you will be able to see the files and folders that you copied onto your Fire Stick using FileZilla. To open it, just navigate to your folder or file and click to select. So I've gone into a folder. Now within that folder, I'm going to click on my photo. Then I'll get this box pop up asking me how I want to view the photo. I'm going to leave ES Image Browser selected and then choose Always. And now this will show on the big screen my family photos. To exit, I'm just going to press back on my remote control and back again. Back again to return to the main menu. If, for example, it was a video file that you transferred, you will be able to find it by clicking on Movies. If you transferred across an audio file, it will show in the music folder. If you transferred an application, an APK file, for example, you will then be able to find it in the app folder. You will then be able to go into the app folder and install the application from in there. So this brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope that this has given you a little insight into how to use these applications, but you can do so much more now that you have a connection to your Fire Stick. You can install APKs that you have downloaded from the internet, you can clean up and create folders, and copy anything you like to your Fire Stick. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end. I really hope that you found this tutorial simple and easy to follow. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more great tutorials.